Hey everybody, Robbie here at RV Sales of Oregon. Today we're looking at this super cool 2012 Keystone Montana. Um, this is a 3700 is the model. It's a Hickory edition, so it's full name I guess to be the Keystone Montana Hickory edition 3700 RL rear living room. Um, it is a three slide unit. We'll do a quick walk around on it so you can see the slides, see what's out here, and then we'll go on in. Um, starting in the front, uh, we have this nice big bay of storage here. This is pre-wired for a generator. If you wanted to add a generator in, right now it just uses extra storage. Um, if you look in here, we have access door here, but we have our batteries um, and our hydraulic uh, reservoir, things like that for the for the jacks. And good storage in there. Come around down to the, the driver's side here. You see this nice big long slide up in your bedroom area. It makes for a really cool floor plan. We'll see more of that on the inside, but notice you don't normally see these big long slides on fifth wheels like this, especially on a rear living one. So. We'll check that out from the inside. Here we just have our boring stuff. Seven gallon propane tank, another one on the far side. In our basement on the driver's side, beyond just great storage, big tall storage, probably about four feet or so in storage there. Uh, we have nice easy access to low point drains, the outdoor shower, right now it's set up with a hose on it. All your city water connections, ways to winterize it. Um, uh, city water flush, or excuse me, tank flush down here, city water here, all that good stuff, disconnects, everything you need is nice and easy. Um, with this floor plan that it has, with this big slide, and again, it'll make more sense from the inside, but you get even more storage, hard to tell with the totes in there, but the depth of that, it's another basement. So a ton of storage on here to, to use how you'd like. Um, we have the two opposing slides in the living room. So of course, here's this one. Up top is the the vent for the for the hood fan. Your refrigerators on both of that. That's the exhaust. Get nice windows all around the back here, and all the way straight to the back. On the back, we have this nice big fiberglass cap. And hard to see with the slides in your way, but just a nice straight wall there. No delamination. Paints in great shape. Even the decals are in perfect shape. Uh, a little dirty, apologize, just trying to get these videos out. That stuff washes off, I do have the inside clean. You do have a little one inch receiver here for towing bikes, things like that, not towing, but putting up bikes on like a rack, something like that, you can use that. Um, we have our passenger slide here, nice big long one, makes it really feel nice and open in there with the opposing slides. Um, and right above the door here, we have a nice um, awning, big powered awning that comes out probably about 12 feet or so, gives you a nice patio space. Um, and just all the way around it. Montana does so many things right. That's why they're one of the most popular fifth wheels every year, um, if not the most popular. The little rain spouts off there, things like that, the way it's trimmed, it's just, they hold up really, really well. That's why they have the good reputation they have. But they just do everything right. It's the little stuff that, that um, makes them last. Let's head on in. To get a good look at the place, I'll get out of the way here. Uh, missing a couch in the back, kind of a, can be a very good thing. Um, put whatever you'd like there if you wanted to add a, a secondary bed or something like that. Just pick the couch you like. Um, use that space however you want if you want it to be a desk, but you can see how much space we have in here. Um, right here as you walk in, you'll see you have the connections for your central vacuum. So the hose plugs right into there, easy access to change your filters, things like that. Um, Got this nice L-shaped kitchen, kind of a U-shape, L-shaped kitchen, whatever you want to call it, but lots of counter space for preparing your goods. Really nice storage all throughout for all your food storage. We have a nice big porcelain doubled in sink and just really high quality material, solid service counter. I'm not sure it's a Corian, but it feels just like a Corian, so just not labeled with it. So I believe it is, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Um, Good pull-out storage here for canned goods or whatever, easy grab when you're in the kitchen. We have our conventional oven, three burner stove, and then the, the nice big microwave oven there. Um, again, good storage throughout. We've got the, the two-way fridge here made by Norcold. It's a big boy. Two-way meaning uh, propane and electric. Uh, here's our entertainment system, and you're probably going, wait, but Robbie, Where's the TV? No, you're probably not, but it's a televator. It comes up, got a nice Samsung TV in here. A good size one too. While I'm down here waiting for this to come up, point out you have the, the 110 heat coming out of your fireplace too. Also gives you just a nice ambiance when you're sitting across the way in your recliners. 
slow as molasses um, and lots of good storage down in here too for just DVDs or whatever it is you're storing up above the TV here we have a blu-ray DVD player that's wired in nice and clean no exposed wires and then just more storage outlets for um, satellite if you're uh, hooked up to satellite from the outside you can just wire right into here plug in your cords um, and you'll be set to go there and um, it is set up for ethernet as well so um, you can have wired internet in here if you're in a place that provides that um, good storage across the back again i can't say enough about these big windows um, having the windows in here just it, it makes the space to me so it's just a really you can use this space for just about anything you want um, but it's just nice having that light, having cross breezes on the hot days and just being able to see hopefully something beautiful out of your back window. Um, and when you don't want to see out of your back window, you have that one just to kind of block the light a little bit. And you have the nightshades to really block the light, give yourself some privacy. Uh, a couple of reclining rocking chairs here. They fold right out. Take my word for it. I won't sit down or I won't get up. A uh, nice floating table here, a couple of chairs. I'm actually not sure if I have more than the, just the two chairs, but chairs are just chairs. Um, that leaps right up to seat four comfortably. Um, you have this, which to me is such a big thing, having storage right by your door. It's just, it's, it's crucial just for grabbing things. It ends up being, you know, a really popular spot for the stuff they're using inside, outside. Um, and just keeps you from tracking mud in through the entire place just to grab something simple. Um, and then more storage up top. Heading into this bedroom area, you kind of see it has this like uh, raised space here. This is what I was talking to you from the outside, why we have basement storage down below it here. Um, but it also just makes your bedroom feel bigger. And you'll see what I mean when we get up there. Um, on our way, you'll see we have our control panel here, a gas electric water heater. That's what these two are for. Um, water pump, ceiling lights, porch lights, um, awning control, and then floodlights. You know, everything there, nice and easy. Um, and your slide out so they just make it nice and easy fantastic fan controls and then you have your um, thermostat here to control heat and air conditioning you do have uh, two ac units on this unit big ac units they're 15,000 btu we have the pass-through bath we'll look at it from both angles um, you can see the vanity from here porcelain potty plenty of room to move around good head space in there again we'll take a look at it from another angle and then the big long slide that we saw from the outside, the, here it is on the inside. So it has the closet. So walking up here, you have the big, big storage um, wardrobe area. I mean, it's about as much wardrobe as you can ask for on a, on a fifth wheel. It's the most I've seen. So have all that there. It doesn't take space out of your bedroom. And, and to me, there's just something nice about having a space right outside your bedroom that's not directly into your living room. It makes this not feel so cramped in here. Um, more storage coming in bedroom same depth as the other ones of course that's the same a uh, nice little secret storage spot up here for whatever you might want to hide away above your bed for safety or just uh just to i don't know something um i think this is just kind of like a vanity here uh use it for putting on makeup or something like that so you can look as pretty as me or um or whatever you want to use it for it could be it could be a workstation too. put a chair there and just kind of use it as a desk really that's up to you but nice nice space there to use an outlet right next to it then we have our built-ins six little drawers for socks for underwear all that stuff easy to keep it organized um this is a full-size queen it's got a nice deep slide so you still get all this nice walk around space all the way around it um with the full length of a queen bed we do have some storage down below nothing to write home about um, except for maybe that's safe there maybe it's full of money who knows you should come and check it out and I'll probably keep the money we'll see uh, nice big closet you see you have some western red cedar in here to keep the bugs out also it just looks real pretty um, let me see I don't think I have anything to hide over here or really anything to share either but more closet space you have an outlet in there in case you want to plug in your heated sweatshirts or whatever you're doing i'm not sure that's there um here we are set up for a washer dryer it does not have one in here right now it's just storage space but this is plumbed for a washer dryer if that's something that you need in your unit so um, set to go there also have a couple outlets in there for um heating up your hats or something um, nice little TV across from the bed. Um, again, just storage for your TV and stuff and like that in there. Um, let's take another look at the bathroom from this angle. Um, really nice having the pass through. It just makes it, if you have people staying with you down there, it's nice to have kind of two entryways. You can kind of not, not bother each other. 
Um, little vanity, we already saw that. Let me give you an idea. The showers are really good size. Before I climb in there, take a look. Nice and easy to keep organized. It's got the three layers of things to store there. Um, and then kind of a, almost like a seat down there. But it's a tub, like for an infant. I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how, you know, I'm not using it as a tub, but it could definitely be used as one for little ones or, or washing stuff, dogs, whatever, whatever you need it for. I wouldn't wash a dog in here. You got an outdoor shower, use that. But anyway, really good size shower. I shouldn't focus on the bathtub. Really good size shower. I can get my arms all the way out. I can get them up. I can get clean. And it's not a claustrophobic feel in here whatsoever. Um, it's a, it is really a good size shower. So I'm not a big guy, but I'm a pretty tall guy. And I fit in there just fine. Let's just switch it up. We'll go out through this way. Nice big mirror to look at yourself. And what am I forgetting? Probably all kinds of stuff. I like to do that. Um, storage on both sides, uh, pots and pans, things like that, kind of nice, uh, especially if you're barbecuing outside or something like that. Uh, let me think here. Do, do, do. Uh, surround sound speakers, all Samsung. Uh, ties into that Bluetooth player there. It can also be used as a radio, surround sound, or stereo, however you want to use it. So good music uh, throughout. You got two in the back, a um, couple more here. And I'm actually not sure if that runs all the way to the bedroom. Ask me if you're interested, and I'll get you an answer on that. Um, but just so nice. It's all ducted air throughout, so the air, the air conditioning spreads really nice and even. Um, big, big 50,000 BTU furnace on here, so that helps keep you warm. And just, you gotta love this ceiling space. It makes it feel so much bigger in these things and not claustrophobic when you have that. And just, it does so many things right. It's a great floor plan. It, it, it's, if you're gonna, you know, not, not that you need to live in this to buy it, but uh, if you were planning on staying in it for extended periods of time, it definitely kind of is set up to do something like that. Uh, all this storage and, and just the living space that you have. And I wish more of them did this, but have your entertainment system directly across from your main seating area. It just, so many of them, they don't coincide with each other. And this just makes so much sense. Uh, definitely a space where you can, uh, you can spend the cold days, the rainy days where you're not doing all the outside activities, stay comfortable in here, um, and still just be out there doing whatever it is you want to do. So, Going off the cuff here, I'm sure I missed a few things. I apologize if I did. Um, just reach out to me if you guys have any questions. Again, it's the 2012 Keystone Montana Hickory Edition 3700 RL is a model. And just, I, yeah, I guess one thing I didn't really mention is just, I, I said all the hickory wood, but I haven't really been pointing it out. The amount of just solid wood on this thing. Uh, it's almost like a throwback to, to an era where they, you know, early 2000s 90s when they were using all solid materials you just don't see it nowadays especially in trailers and fifth wheels but it's just so well constructed um it's done right i can't i can't really think of anything else i'd want on a, on a rig so i'll leave it at that sorry i'm robbie at rv sales morgan thank you guys for checking out the video hope you're having a great day bye